we got it. Perfect. All right. Hi. Perfect. So, Kathleen, how are you today? I'm fantastic. It's Love nine it. o'clock and I can't be better. <laughs> there you go. I couldn't agree more. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, and, and as I was saying, you know, what better way to finish up an epic day and get ready for the weekend with someone as you? You know what I mean? I'm honored. <laughs> All right. I love it. So welcome back. As I said, it is so amazing to have you back here. I mean, what was when was like first chat? Was it like? It was January. January, chat. right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Amazing. And tell me, like, what's new? What's new since our last chat? Um, not a ton of new. Just a lot of work. <laughs> um, I let's see. In January, I was just maybe in my second month. Um, I had joined a wellness collective. And um, our small group of practitioners from different modalities um, in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. And we each offer, um, again, different wellness services. Um, and so I just joined that. So that like pouring a lot of uh, energy into my personal business in the last, um, I guess now six months since I yeah. last talked to you. Um, and then finally ended up back on stage post COVID. We, uh, my students uh, had their performance of the Nutcracker that was very delayed because of COVID, um, but I yeah. got to perform on my, alongside them. We did a couple other projects and um, I ended up going, uh, I'm a licensed massage therapist in a couple states, but I'm still working on transferring that license out to New York and I had to do a couple classes. So that's been in progress. But, other than that, we're just trucking along. I love it. Yeah. That is so cool. You know, it is, yeah, I love it. And the fact that you keep doing it, you know, the fact that you, that you keep doing your own thing and it and is actually working, you know, and uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And um, yeah, wow. Now, for someone else, I mean, we all know how talented and awesome you are, right? I mean, we all know that. But like, <laughs> tell me, like, what usually, you know, like, what usually triggers your creativity or like what usually sets you up like what triggers you for you to create something or start something something new or you know like to let you let yeah like what usually sets your mind go crazy so you can do, create something let's say yeah um it really depends on what what i'm creating um but i mean i think the the under underlying theme is that I always I'm always most inspired by the people around me. Um, yeah. I think I think I said this in our last podcast too. I think I I always come back to what I'm learning by teaching. Um, mm. That you know what my students help me uncover is probably the, the source of so much of what I do end up putting out in the world. Um, mm. And you know, in, in the creative process in the studio, it's what the other dancers are bringing into the space. Um, and I think even, even down to simple things like, you know, the sequence I'm going to teach in my next class and the combinations I'm going to teach in my next dance class, it always is um, sparked by what I came, what came up in the last class with my students or um, with my clients. And so, I think that is always the themes. I owe, I owe a lot to the people in my life. I love it. I love it. Now, now you are now you are a talented, super badass dancer, right? <laughs> Epic. I love it. But so check this out. So let's say that I'm about to dance, right? Now, I don't know anything about dancing. I mean, I I, I think I do okay. I mean, people haven't complied, or at least I think <laughs> they haven't complied. So I think I'm good. So anyway, so let's say that I'm about to dance, right? Now, on your uh -huh. experience, let's say, let's say that I call you and be like, you know what, I'm just gonna dance for like this performing, you know, they, I don't know what to do. Like on your experience, what are some of the things that I need to consider first? Um, well, there's a lot of things to consider. <laughs> a lot will depend on what kind of dance you're doing. Um, and I can speak from a, a, a ballet perspective. Let's say it's ballet, uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's uh, say it's ballet, why not? gonna be demanding um it is a lot of it is a lot of work um even at a, a i think you know I, I teach adult beginning ballet and one of the things i say to students is like you know i'm always going to teach to who's in the room and we're gonna we're gonna we're, i'm not gonna ask you to do anything that's going to hurt you um i would never do that to anybody um but 
I think what people don't always um, think about is how, um, how much they're gonna have to think. It is a lot to think about. I'm gonna put on music and I'm gonna ask you to do a series of steps and I'm gonna give you some things to think about in terms of your alignment and your artistry and you're all gonna have to do that in time with the music and remember the combination. So <laughs> um, that is a big wake up call for people I think, even the, even, you know, the most simple things that I can give in a beginner class. Um, so that would be, that would be, I think the biggest piece of advice is just to come with your thinking cap on. I mean, that's what I tell my, my littlest kids. Did you bring your thinking cap today? <laughs> I love it. And what would you say? It's one of the reasons why, yeah, like why some dancers would get stuck or even desperate when they're in this learning choreography for a performance. Why they get stuck on choreography specifically? Yep. Oh boy. Um, well, a lot of the time I think it's it's not having the strategies to learn material. Um, I think sometimes we try to approach things, you know, we see, we see, try to see too much at once. We see, um, you know, all, everything that is being put in front of us and it, it, things just need to be broken down. I always say, you know, what, what you know, what can you learn first? Can you learn the feet? Can you learn, can you learn what the legs are doing? Now we'll talk about music. Now we'll talk about arms. Um, it is really overwhelming to try to view the body as one big picture. Something you have to do, but it's very overwhelming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, fun, fun, funny enough, I did learn a choreography years ago. Uh huh. I did, did that. We were about to perform. We did it in weather conditions. Oh, no, wait. No, we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. We were about to do a second one, and that would go well. Yeah, so we did perform, and uh, I loved it. So, yeah, I do know what you mean. And uh, although I make sure nobody knows about it, and if there's someone <laughs> here that saw me performing almost like 15 years ago, I but think. The, the people in your life are your best supporters, so you got to yeah. invite them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they were there, but uh, we don't yeah. talk about it. I mean, it was cool, <laughs> but, you know, that is like a... Uh, let's move on here. Uh, <laughs> I love it. But uh, so, like, <clears throat> so you have been dancing for a couple of years. I mean, for a lot of for a lot of time now. You're Quite super a few years. awesome. You're super, you're super talented. But now tell me, like, what is, like, what do you love the most about dancing? Like, what is the thing that always drives you for you to keep on? Oh, so many things. Um, I think. I think I also said this maybe the last time we talked or a version of this, but I, I think when when I think about dance, I think about the fact that it's the, you know, I was in dance class from the time I was in preschool. Um, so I was learning dance at the same time I learned my ABCs. Um, so it is it is the language I speak. It's the first way I knew how to express myself. It's the first, it's the way I can always go back to. Um, when I, you know, every time I think, wow, I really haven't been in class lately and I really haven't been putting my practice in. I I think I'm gonna, you know, I, I get scared. I, I'm nervous to go back and I wonder, you know, how is this going to feel? Um, and I'm always shocked by, there are 100% moments where I'm like, wow, I'm sore. I am, you know, this is, this is not, <laughs> this is not easy. Um, of course. How, how much it feels like home and how natural that language is. I, I, I don't have, um, you know, I, I don't have, I don't speak more than one language, but I'm sure it feels somewhat similar if you are somebody who is bilingual um, to be able to come back home and, and speak that language again. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that and just, there is every time I think I've sucked dance dry and there is nothing left to learn and there's nothing left to touch I am surprised again again like students are always my biggest inspiration and when I think I've there, there really isn't less, much left to learn here they inspire me and I and I find something new and there's always something to uncover um, and I think that was the first thing that really got me excited as a kid was mm 
having a space where like no matter what I would come to class and I would step at the bar and there was something there was something new <laughs> I love it okay wow wow and like what I mean like what motivates you you know like we all have these days in which we want to stop you know we think that it's been a waste of time that I mean getting inside into all of these toxic thoughts is always way too easy which I hate by the yeah. way uh, but like what usually put your feet back on the ground so you can continue creating this journey that you have been doing for a long time now and it is amazing and it's working so what 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 put you back up basically um, I'm incredibly stubborn <laughs> and, I, and I don't like to be told I can't do something <laughs> so that's probably the biggest one <laughs> No, but but a, a little bit that is true. Um I think I think a, a lot of it is proving that I can. Um even when people time money every everything has said that this is probably not the best idea. <laughs> um but again, I think there is a you can make a living and doing pretty much anything in the 21st century and there is somebody out there i say this all the time yeah. like there's somebody out there who will pay you money to do that weird thing that interests you that is the beauty of living on a planet with are we at eight billion people now or is it seven billion oh, i don't know yeah. but yeah there's a lot of people in the world and somebody out there probably has enough money to pay <laughs> you to do that thing that's really interesting and it takes time to find that person um but There, there is space there there's so much space uh to be an artist and a creator um in our world um so i would i would never um bargain i i would never drop this this thing that interests me in the hope that i would find something a little safer um a little bit more savvy financially um knowing that they, they it'll work out. I I mean I I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that if I stick with what I what I'm interested in you know it'll, it'll pan. Yeah. Out. Reach. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Then Yeah, that is true. Okay. Okay. And my last question. Well, two questions. Be, the first one. Yeah. If you had to describe your career, your whole career in a song. Oh. Which song would you pick? song. Yeah. Ooh, I was not prepared for this question. Um Ain't no mountain high enough. I'm going to download it and put it on my playlist. <laughs> that one. Okay, okay. Yeah. And there you go. All right. I'll I'll put that one, okay? Yeah. And now the last one is what can we expect from you in the future? future um well let's see in the near future i um will be taking the new york massage therapy board exam in oh, august so knock on wood that'll go okay <laughs> um and then i'll be able to uh offer massage therapy services in um the state i'm actually living in which is great <laughs> um so i hope to expand my practice in the fall um and just really hit the ground running um And I'm hoping that that gives me a little bit more um a little bit more of a financial platform and a little more flexibility where I can start to create a little more work and pour a little more energy into dance um and hopefully that'll just slowly start to happen. <laughs> I love it. And you know what? It is going to happen. You know, if, so yeah. if someone is going to reach super high at for I mean we all know that that's going to be you for being so talented and being able to do so many things here and there and to and to actually making it happen and it is working i mean that's that's amazing and that's badass i mean we should we should definitely see you as a role model for someone that went outside the typical suicidal box <laughs> and uh create create her own thing and having like the chance to do like so many things here and there and it is working i mean you're showing us that dreams can come true and that is something that i love and uh and more people should be should be should be like thinking to get out of the of that typical of that tr like traditional box and do your own thing and i mean we have an example here that uh, that 
or from someone that is actually making it make it happen and i just can't wait to see more of it and i'm super sure that eventually everybody's going to know about your awesome work and what you do because i mean you deserve it you know what i mean thank you <laughs> love it also want to thank those for watching thanks so much for watching this if you're either watching this later here on instagram or later on youtube or if you're on your on, on the way to work or walking with a dog or if you're just listening to this awesome episode make sure to follow Catherine you know the social media I mean, normally what I would say is for you to put pause and then go follow her and then let's make her viral hashtag Team Kathleen because she's awesome. She's amazing. And uh, before I send you off, you know what is coming. I, mean, I, need to, I need to send you off properly with an epic send up for someone as awesome as you. So. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I promise that one day we're, we're, we're going to have the full Madison, Madison Square Garden. We're going to make an episode on it. <laughs> and you're gonna have like tens of thousands of people cheering you up because you're right. so awesome <laughs> keep killing it keep 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 spreading keep spreading your awesome vibes and your badassness i don't think if that word exists but if it doesn't you get with it which i love it um <laughs> and uh in the meantime have an epic uh have an epic upcoming weekend uh keep doing what you do it is inspiring and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for having me all right have a good one, okay bye bye <laughs>